Hi guys, it's Roxanne Lessa, the Art Quilters Coach, and I just want to share with you a quick tip today um, that really helped me get started when I was learning how to make photorealistic art quilts. Okay, so um, how do you get from a photo like this to a finished art quilt like this. Well, I'm so glad you asked. I'm going to show you the in-between steps, okay? The first step is to take your photo and put it inside a sleeve protector like this. So I'm going to slide that in there. And of course, I printed it out eight and a half by 11 so that it will fit in this page protector. Come on, get in there. There we go. Okay, and then I've taken a fine line Sharpie and I have traced everything that I want to include in my quilt. Okay, let me take this out, the photograph out and put in a piece of white paper so you can see the tracing. And you want to do this anyway because the next step is to take a picture of it. Okay, so here's my tracing. And I know it looks like a lot of lines, but don't let that scare you. So the next step is to take a picture of this with your phone. And the reason you want to do that is because you're going to use it as your pattern. So the next, let me show you another example. So this is from my sunset class, which is an on-demand class that you can take. So here's the photograph. And here's the trace, there it is. You can see the tracing. This one is a little simpler, so you can see how I've traced the rocks and the horizon line and some of the clouds. And also, I didn't do this in this one, but I also put in the outside edge of the piece so I know where it stops and where it starts. And then, of course, I would put a piece of white paper inside it like I did with the other one. And all of this is outlined in the class, but I just wanted to share this real quick tip. <clears throat> so now I've got my tracing. I take it, a photograph of it from overhead. And then what do I do with that photograph? And I'm glad you asked. You take that photograph and you're going to upload it to, or download it, I can never get them straight, to a program like blockposters.com or rasterbator.net, I think it is, where they will posterize it and blow it up to and the then size you that can you print out the uh, enlargement um, pieces and create a full scale pattern by taping those pieces together. I just want to show you the blown up pattern of the sunset, and it's printed and, and expanded onto four pieces of eight and a half by eleven and taped together on the back. So this is what you can get from um, downloading your picture to um, on the internet to one of those services that I mentioned. And then you can print it out on your home computer, on regular computer paper, and just tape them together. And that's it, you've got your pattern. Now there are many more steps after that, obviously, but I remember when I was first getting started, I would be inspired by my photographs and I would think, oh, I really want to make an art quilt based on that. And I didn't know how to get started. Can you relate? So what I did was exactly the process that you I just shared with you. And so I hope you find it useful. It's a great jumping off point, especially if you're a beginner. My main advice to you is if you are a beginner, start with something very simple. So this picture, not so much. There's a lot going on there. Where's my other picture? 
this picture much easier. Okay. And if you want more tips on how to go from the next, from that stage to the next stages, um, please consider taking one of my online demand classes, either the intro to art quilting class or the um, sunset class. I forget what the actual name of it is. Anyway, they're all to be found at um, bit.ly dot forward slash Roxanne Lessa. And I will put that on that information on a card for you. Thanks for watching. I hope that tip was good for you. And get busy making the art quilts of your dreams.